Hey everyone, how are you? This is Lovely Love, aka Pretty in Pink, and today I want to talk to you about Twin Flames. Um, I've been on this journey myself for quite a while, and I would like to get into my story um, another time, maybe not today, but I do have a lot of old videos from around maybe 12, 13, 14 years ago, um, after I've experienced my first major spiritual awakening. Um, I had no idea at the time what was really going on. I had some ideas, but I, I, I wasn't fully aware of, of what was going on. Um, I do have more, you know, more clarity now, um, and maybe maybe at some another point I can get more into the journey. Um, and may, I'm thinking that there may be a lot of um, helpful things that I went through that can help uh, many others who are new, pretty much new to the journey. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, today, I, I did want to, I do want to start helping some people now, though. And I, I have noticed that there's a lot of people who are going through a lot of suffering, and they're not sure what to do about their, their, their twin flame or their, or their the journey that they're on. So I, I don't have a lot of time right now, but I do want to get something started. Uh, maybe you guys can send me your questions. And during the week, I can go ahead and, and respond to those um, by video and um, just connect, okay? So the first question that I wanted to start with is, why does your twin flame stay with their karmic? Or why does why is your twin flame not attracted to you, blo is blocking you, or just not coming around or, or speaking to you or anything like that? And my response to that is, your twin flame is more attracted to their karmic or someone else because they simply are not attracted to you or they are not magnetized by you. And there's a reason for that. Sorry. And they do not choose this other person because your twin is of a low vibration or needs healing. That's not the reason why. Um, I don't care what he's going through or or, or what issues he may have, none of that has anything to do with why your twin is with a karmic. I hear some people say, oh, um, my, you know, she's of a low vibration and he's of a low vibration, that's why they're together. It, has, it literally has nothing to do with that. They choose their karmic because they are literally repulsed by you. And we will go into why that is and how we can correct that. Um, we refer to ourselves as the, the divine feminine, positive polarity, the more spiritual twin. But however you choose to divide, define yourself, you are pushing your twin away with your mind energy. You are of the same soul frequency. Your mind are literally polar opposites. I'm in a very lively neighborhood, so <laughs> you're going to hear a lot of lively things going on. Yeah, but your mind are literally of polar opposites. So the frequency of their mind is irrelevant. You are not attracting and magnetizing your twin because you are repulsing them with your mind energy. Take the mental focus off of the other person. Okay? And do not focus on them, and that does not mean you are going to focus like just on yourself you're what you're going to do is you need to focus on your spiritual journey and focus on your soul um, having more of a presence okay um, now we, we can get more into that how we how we can do that um, get out of the duality mindset of you and him all that exists is you. You exist in two polarized bodies. Your focus should solely be on your soul, which animates both bodies. You are you are your twin, and that's kind of like um, I don't know if anyone has played any like simulation games or anything like that. I used to enjoy playing The Sims, and I would be one person one being and I'm playing like a family of, of several people there'd be a mom and a dad 
and children, whatever. And so it was like, I am the animator. I, I control everything that they do um, of this entire family. And everybody else is like NPCs. <laughs> um, you know, they're non non non-player characters I think what that's what they're called but yeah but I am the one in control of, of this family um and they're like the main character but yeah that's that's you and your twin you it's basically one soul or, or one higher mind or, or whatever you want to call it that's in control of, of both of you and you're of this literally the same soul con soul frequency not similar the exact same soul frequency so you are stuck in obsessive mental energy. Let the other person go mentally. They aren't going anywhere spiritually. They literally are you. You will see that once you focus on your spiritual journey and let go of a lot of the false psychological doctrine that many of you have picked up, your twin will not only be magnetized to you, they will be obsessed, literally obsessed but that is not your goal your goal is your spiritual journey and by <clears throat> psychological doctrine that i'm, I'm referring to <clears throat> um we can get more into that um i've but i've i would say that approximately 99 from what i've observed 99 percent of the information that is online about twin flames is absolutely incorrect they have no idea what they're talking about. They're not even on the journey to even be talking about anything. Um, then there are people who are, I can tell they're on the journey. Like I can, based on the things they say and what they're experiencing, I'm like, yep, that, that's, that this person is on the journey. And <clears throat> because they're listening to so much falsehoods, they're literally running fast speed in the wrong direction based on what other people that's not on the journey are even saying. So, um, this is things like, um, child, what it, I, I don't even know what these things are called because I never even focus on any of these things. Inner child healing and these are all psychological stuff and, um, doing the work. I, I heard a psychologist say that and I was like, oh, that's, that's twin flame stuff. And I'm like, no, that's literally psychological stuff that twin flames for some reason picked up and um what is it oh the shadow healing am i saying it right i don't i don't know if i don't i don't do it honey <laughs> i don't do that stuff at all i think i think it's called shadow healing please correct me because i know i'm saying it wrong um but yeah all of that stuff is going to push your twin away it's going to repulse them most people I, I, I've communicated with that's on this journey, they don't even talk to their twin. Um, they're not around. They have them blocked. Um, they're going through a, a lot of problems. And we want to fix that, like today. We want to turn that around today. Um, I would like to create maybe, um, maybe a space where we can communicate with each other and, and just turn that around. Um, I'll, I'll, you know what, I'm going to do that today. I'm going to make some, uh, create some contact information for you to be able to contact me. And I can maybe add you like, to a group or something so we can um, basically get this all turned around and get some, not healing, but some, I, I know what it's like to have gone through the journey and it's like you, it's, you have no idea what to do and you just feel stuck. So let us get that turned around like this video if you got anything out of it um please comment below ask me some questions about twin flames and the journey if you have any questions um i'm here i, I will respond okay and please subscribe if you have if you're not already already a subscriber much love to you all Mwah. peace out